Hi Aries, welcome to your December 2021 Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign, Aries, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're gonna to speak to you. Remember they are general readings. Not everything's gonna resonate with everybody. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's get into it for the month ahead. Um, if you haven't yet, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. So your jumping card for your actions and options is the Knight of Pentacles. So this month, it really is about the slow, steady, sustained actions, right? This is gonna be a month where you are actually, and, and it kind of makes sense, right? We're coming to the end of the year, preparing for a new one, but there is a sense of determination about you this month where it's almost like you've decided that something is going to change or something is going to happen. This suggests to me that you are definitely digging in, right? There's a an, there's gonna be a, a moment or a feeling pervading over the course of this year where you really are digging into not only the best that you can be, but also the reserves of strength that you have. Maybe there's something this month that requires your strength, that requires more of your determination and grit than you've had to summon in a long time. Now, remember, this is about your actions and options with the world at large. So this is about what you do, right? This, uh, for some of you, does suggest that this could be a time where you are traveling. Maybe some of you are traveling for the holidays, but it also suggests that some of you are taking a journey that feels quite... in. Um, it feels quite important and also quite spiritual for some of you. Speaking of whatever you do or don't celebrate, I wish you an amazing uh, holiday season, whether it's Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, or uh, Yule as well, right? For those of you that celebrate uh, with me, um, I really do wish you all of the best and I really hope that you have a wonderful time and a closing out of this year for all of the madness and the melee that it has been, all right? So with that, um, for your money and materials, you have the two of pentacles, right? So you've got a lot of earth here. Now, it kind of makes sense because as we get into the 21st of December, we're going to have that, uh, we're going to have the sun shifting into the sign of Capricorn, so on the winter solstice. So this two of pentacles suggests to me that this month there are some financial decisions that you're making as well. Um, for some of you, this could be you deciding, maybe you know what, I'm going to start saving to move. Maybe this is some of you saying, you know what, I'm going to start saving for that once in a lifetime trip that I've always told myself I'll go on but I never seem to get to. Um, for some of you this could be deciding that you want to move as well so maybe you start saving for a deposit, maybe you start saving for a house. Um, another way that this might show up for you as well Remember, the Two of Pentacles is about grounded, practical decisions, but it's asking you to be present. So this is you looking at your finances, your resources, your money, your materials. This is you really paying attention to the bank balance. And for some of you, this is about figuring out ways that you can improve your financial status in some way, shape or form. Um, for a lot of you, though, this really does look like you balancing the books and being very clear on how you're gonna, like for a lot of you, I feel like you're making a plan, right? I know where I wanna be next, but now I need to start making that happen. So even though this is the holiday season, it looks like a lot of you are really in that work mode, right? Which is not actually a bad thing, you know? You got a plan to win, right? With that said, remember that every year on the 21st of December, I put on a winter solstice. You can get your seat on the link in the description box below. Uh, this year, it's not just gonna be me, it's not just gonna be Denise. We've also got, a th I also have a second uh, special guest. I'm gonna have Heather from Astrology with Heather. So we're gonna be talking about the astrology, the numerology, we're gonna be pulling cards with the tarot. I'm also gonna be leading a visualization of the year ahead. So, uh, and I love that part about it. The uh, uh, future life progression part so there's a whole bunch of stuff packed into like four hours worth of you're going to get everything so you're kind of getting like the cheat code to 2022 so if you want to get your seat you can get that on the link in the description box below it would be lovely to have you uh, and i really believe as well that joining a bunch of like minds together and being focused on your outcomes and your goals heightens that energy and the 21st of december is the best time to do it for your communications and conversations 
conversations, you've got the temperance card. So you've got this with the two of pentacles. Be careful with some of the conversations that you have around money and finances this month. Um, and the reason I say that is because they could get a little bit tense. There might be some moments where things get a little bit terse. Maybe you're having a disagreement about finances, money or resources. This could be with you know anyone from a boss right through to a partner. Um, the other thing is as well, because it's the temperance card, a lot of the conversations that you have this month are going to seem to take on a new weight, right? So you've got this right next to the Two of Pentacles. And I kind of get this feeling, it's almost like you're having conversations that are really going to start to change or certainly make you realise where maybe you get in your own way or may where maybe you're not as aligned with your goal, your target or whatever it is that you want to be. Remember the temperance card is about alignment. It's about how you bring your inner and outer worlds together. And because you've got this in the communication sector, there's a lot going on here where you're having conversations about your external resources, about your material experience for sure. But there's gonna be a personal realization through conversation, through communication this month that really makes you say to yourself, Yourself, wow, you know what? Maybe some of the language that I'm using isn't conducive to what I'm trying to create. Maybe some of my belief structures or belief systems on the internal plane are, you know, after all, what we think, what we feel, what our emotions broadcast is what creates our reality. This month you could have a conversation that really kind of, maybe you have a moment where you go, wow, okay, I need to change this or I need to switch it up. On a more positive note, you know, one of the ways that this could show up is maybe you have a conversation and you have a realization of how far you've come in your own personal journey. This could be wonderful. It could be a moment of self-realization. It could be a moment of, you know what, I'm going to pat myself on the back for that because I've actually made huge leaps and bounds. Where you are in your journey is to be celebrated. Even if it's that you catch yourself thinking something or saying something that you're like, wow, this doesn't help me get what I want. Um, celebrate that as well, because once you have that realization, you then really have power, because you then have the power to choose, right? It's no longer unconscious to you. So I kind of feel in a lot of ways, this could be a spiritual month for you, um, but it's, it's likely to be those connections with or through others that are gonna show you where things need to change or where things might need to be adapted. For your heart and hearth, you have the death card, right? So not an easy card, but very interesting because the death card, the temperance card is what follows the death card. Now for a select few of you, um, there's a few ways that this could show up. This could be for some of you, and I really hope I'm wrong, but this could be the end of a relationship or the completion of a partnership of some kind. It may be as well, because you've got this next to the temperance card, maybe a conversation that you have this month brings an end to some challenge and or issue that you've been experiencing with a loved one, with a partner, with a friend, with somebody that is close to you. This could be the end of an old argument, the burying of a hatchet, all of that kind of stuff. So that's, you know, on the lighter sort of side. On the heavier kind of side, it does suggest that this month you could be releasing or letting something or someone go, and maybe not necessarily by choice. So this is something to be aware of and alert to. All right, for your weeks of the month. Okay. For the first week of the month, you have the Hierophant card right underneath the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. What I find really interesting about this is that's a lot of energy. Um, that's a lot of earth energy, right? Now, the thing that I wanna say to you is, this first week, because obviously we've got this eclipse in this first week as well, this might be a time at which something in your world that you thought was solid, that you thought was concrete, is revealed to you to need more time, need more energy, need more juice, need more focus, more determination and discipline. Um, for a select few of you, this does look like there might be news of, you know, I know here in the UK we're already having news or talk of uh, another lockdown, etc. Um, it is the Hierophant, which suggests as well, for you personally, this might be, I don't wanna say a crisis of faith, I actually wanna feel like this could be a founding of faith. So like this whole thing about your belief structures, something about them this month is going to change, right? And it's like maybe you're getting a newfound lease on your beliefs, etc. For your second week of the month, you've got the Strength card, um, right underneath the Two of Pentacles. In a lot of ways, 
this kind of suggests that you are like remember what i was saying to you earlier about that determination that grit this second week could see you having an experience maybe on you know on the financial level maybe even on a physical health level there's something that you're kind of seeing for yourself this month and saying you know what i'm determined to change this it looks like you're you're doing this in a very quiet sort of dignified focused way so it's like there's no big speeches there's no you know i'm gonna do this or declarations it's just slow steady determined focus and dedication this is like you really digging deep to work past on or through something um and that second week is going to see you needing to find that grit right after all you do have the strength card so this is you summoning your strength to make something happen uh, in a lot of ways it could just be you deciding what's most important and then really saying okay now that i know this on that internal level it's time to make this happen uh, for your third week of the month, you have the star card, right? Right underneath the temperance card. That is so hopeful and so bright and so loving and so warm. Um, there's going to be a lot of great communication around the holiday season, like, you know, the, the bubble that is. Um, whatever you are doing around this time, it does look like there's a faith renewed or restored. There's something that comes in over the course of the holiday season where you are really taking on board a new idea. And there's a glimpse, right? It's the star card with the temperance card. This glimpse into your own future is going to come on a very spiritual level. This could be through a dream. It come, might come through a synchronicity. It could come through a conversation that you have with somebody that is truly profound found that really shifts your own perspective and has you feeling more hopeful than maybe you have in a very very long time um i love this for you because it's really powerful and you know it's powerful in the light way it's not like that heavy sort of i have to even with the grit and the determination yes it's there and yes you're going to have to find that sort of rod of steel that goes up your back but at the same time, there's like this lightness. It's almost like a, an acceptance that just clicks things into place for you, which is really, really nice. For the fourth week of the month, you have the full card, right? So you've got the full card with the death card. Um, it's an interesting one because while you could definitely call that a sudden death, it doesn't necessarily have to be one that is like, you know, awful and scary and drawn out. It could just literally be you saying, okay, this version of me, I'm letting go of. This, the way that people know me is not this. I'm not that anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like there's this really, um, yeah, like there's this just this really strong thought. I was just having a thought for myself there. There's just this really strong thought of some kind of big change. Like as you step into the new year, I think you're going to be stepping into it a very different person. And I don't say that lightly, you know, like to, to change so much or so drastically within the space of a month is not really heard of, right? But it does look like however you step into 2022, it's with a vastly different mindset to the way that you, you finished uh, 2020, uh, 2021, right? So really interesting there. So for your new moon, uh, which is the new moon eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius, you have the gate 25 and innocence. One of the things that I love about this is it kind of feels to me like there is a return to some part of you that maybe you feel like you lost, that maybe you feel, you know, maybe you're feel like the wind was knocked out of your sails at some point or some dream wish or hope that you had as a young person was dashed and it's like this this month especially around or as a result of this eclipse you could be having a conversation you could be having a synchronicity a dream you could something this month especially as a result of this eclipse kicks back in I don't know, maybe you're in your 40s or your 50s and you think, you know what, I always wanted to study this. And you say to yourself, right, you know what, this, I'm going for it, right? I'm, I'm going to make this happen. And it's like, you're not doing it with bravado or any of the loud stuff. It's like, you're just getting really focused on this internal level and saying to yourself, right, now that I know 
what it is that I'm truly chasing and what that inner child part of me has always felt that's unfulfilled, I'm gonna make this happen. Um, there is a return to something, to some simpler time or simpler belief or some you know idea or goal or wish or hope that has been left undone. For your full moon, you have the gate 12 and caution. What I find lovely about this card is you see the angel on it. So it does talk about caution, but not in the traditional sense. This is actually the caution that you're supposed to have when this card shows up. It's very interesting that this comes opposite the uh, Innocence card. The caution that you're supposed to have is not allowing doubt and fear to get in the way of your hopes and dreams. Not allowing uh, you know, doubts, fears, and uncertainty, or even naysayers, right, to deter you from your goal. So that full moon that happens this month is really gonna push you forward. And I think whatever you're sort of inciting or rediscovering around that new moon eclipse in Sag, when the full moon kicks in, you're going to be like, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm ready. This, this is it. This is the time, all right? I absolutely love this for you. I wish you all an abundance of all of that good stuff for the whole of uh, this month, but also more importantly, for all of 2022. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being a part of Radiant Reality. Thank you for all of your support over the course of this year and the ones before for those of you that are continued subbies. Um, it really does mean a lot to me that you guys support me the way that you do. It would be lovely to have you at the solstice session. Take care, have an amazing holiday season and an even better New Year's Eve so that you can start the year strong. Take care and I'll see you soon.